Hi, South Jersey, and thanks for logging on to NBC40.net's Weather on the Web. Well, in like a lamb and out like a lion seemed to be the case for us here in the Northeast. Wet and windy it went out and roaring storms in the southeast such as Florida and the cold held to the north warm as wool out here in Texas so it was really broken up uh, about in half for, uh, all around the country out like a lion here in the east out like a lamb out in the west for us it came in like a lamb so let's try to digest that a little bit on our calendar here we started calm and quiet mid 40s and then the third 37 degrees as a an arctic high pressure set up to our northwest bringing a stiff wind and temperatures in the 30s we went up to the 50s for that Friday and Saturday, then a lot of rain for the 6th and 7th, flooding concerns over eastern Pennsylvania, then we went to seasonable and more rain. That was a very wet week. We saw about 3 inches of rain in total that week, then nice and warm, 60s for the 11th and 12th, and then calm and quiet again from the 13th to the 15th, the 16th before St. Paddy's Day saw more rain. It cleared out for St. Paddy's Day. That was a very nice day. Then 77 degrees and sunshine, record setting warmth in some sections of South Jersey. And that was the warmest, warmest temperatures rather we've seen in the past couple weeks. And then a cold start to your spring. It came in on the 20th at 721 PM with only 48 degrees. This time last year, actually spring came in 75 degrees. So well below that and well below average, we should be at 57 for this time of year. And again, we went out like a lion here in the east. But hey, it's April. We don't have to worry about March anymore, right? So here's a quick preview of what we can expect through this month. Severe weather potential will grow greater as the days go on, and the days will get longer by 68 minutes. By the end of the month, we'll see the uh, sun rising early around 6 o'clock and setting late around 7.30. So that's a really nice change. So we'll go from, actually yesterday's uh, average was 57 degrees. By the end of the month, 66 over 44. So that will be a nice welcome change. And the warmest temperature I could find last year was the 7th. I remember this just like it was yesterday. Uh, I was on the beach. It was, it was beautiful, 91 degrees. The coldest was 53. Also that same week, the 3rd of April. So I don't think we'll see any uh, 91 degrees anytime soon, but this is what we can expect for this month. Normal all across the east. This is something we didn't really see last month with uh, below normal temperatures. Staying chilly, parts of New York, a departure of about 2 degrees, and the real cold holds way to the north at a departure of about 4 degrees. I don't think this is actually going to try to work its way down. It may, but it's not going to be very successful. Out here in the southwest, really toasting it up plus 4 degrees, and they could actually be worrying about some drought. Right here, below average precipitation, you see the skull and the cactus. That's what it's really going to feel like that. For us, above average, we're going to remain active with some showers. Uh, we actually have a chance of showers each of the next seven days. But you know what they say, April showers bring. I'll let you finish that. Finally, temperatures at average. Today's te high temperature was about 53 degrees, a little bit below, but a lot better than what we could be at and what we saw over the past couple weeks. So a general warming trend is going to be setting up. And then thunderstorms are possible for Monday night into Tuesday. Originally, I thought it was going to be Tuesday afternoon, but it looks like the progression of this cold front is a little bit speedier than I thought. So I don't think we will have uh, many severe thunderstorms to worry about. So let's take a look at today's forecast. Well, I guess now cast because it's still happening. Low pressure skirting off of the eastern seaboard. It was an unsettled kind of day with showers pivoting from uh, Michigan all the way down to the Delmarva Peninsula. Not really much going on here in South Jersey. In fact, here's our radar. Uh, a light shower just came over uh, northern Atlantic County, but other than that, no major concerns precipitation wise as of right now. So Sunday, 56 to 58 degrees, we're going to start seeing this major warm up come from the south. We have an offshore high pressure system. It's going to be dry and cool for you tomorrow. And then we're watching the west as a low pressure is going to try to make its way through rain and thunder for the uh, Milwaukee region with some uh, clouds coming our way and then actually some snow up there. That's something we don't have to worry about. I think snow is definitely done for us this year until, oh, I don't know, November or December. So Sunday into Monday, we're looking at a major severe weather outbreak, talking about tornadoes, large hail, and damaging winds thanks to this. Some cold air behind this jet stream and some warm, humid air being fed into it. 
That comes together and you get this. This is very typical of a March pattern. And I don't think we're going to see those severe thunderstorms migrate in the South Jersey. We might see a couple thunder showers Monday night into Tuesday. 61 to 63 for your Monday. I think if the sun actually comes out and stays out during the afternoon, we could even hit the 70 degree mark. Again, watch in the west with this low pressure. A lot of heavy rain to our west. Flooding potential exists with those heavier thunderstorms. For us, just a warm blast for your Monday. South Jersey seven day forecast. As I said, if the sun can stay out, 70 degrees will probably hit. 57 we drop after that cold front comes through. Wednesday's the pick of the week. 57 right at average, mostly sunny skies. And then Thursday we bring clouds back into the picture for Friday when we could be talking about another system trying to work its way through. 64 degrees and then 60 for next Saturday. So this seven day is definitely looking a lot better than previous weeks. So thanks for logging on NBC40.net's Weather on the Web. I'm forecaster Nick Pittman. Have a great night. Oh, uh, thank you.